Aw, oh, come on, that looks nothing like the game. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 misleading video game trailers. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 10, Microsoft Connect. In an effort to hijack the Wii's motion control hype train, the Kinect made some bold statements about how this device would eliminate the need for a controller, and that players would be able to use themselves in order to enjoy a line of specific games designed to fully utilize the Kinect's revolutionary sensor technology. Well, they didn't, largely due to the damn thing not picking up player movements no matter the distance, leading to some really terrible titles. But most misleading of all was Peter Molyneux's ambitious Project Milo, that Microsoft capped off their Kinect reveal with, promising Skynet levels of AI interaction that, well, thankfully never happened. Don't know till I try, do I? Exactly. See? I've got everything we need. Number 9. Final Fantasy XIII Look at the graphics! Look at the landscapes! Look at that fluid combat! Oh man, this could be the entry in the franchise that really stands above the rest. While it did indeed look dazzling, the tale of Lightning and Company broke many fans' hearts and disappointed newcomers alike when they discovered that there was in fact very little emphasis placed on exploration, which often led to parts of the game becoming kinda claustrophobic and linear. As far as the combat was concerned, its extreme hand-holding was a far cry from the intense action we were originally promised. But hey, at least it was pretty to look at. Number 8. Bioshock Infinite Not since we took that first dive to Rapture has a game managed to give us that perfect blend of harrowing storytelling and fast-paced combat. Booker and Elizabeth's journey through Columbia certainly made a lot of people's game of the year, and rightly so. But you can't deny that none of the amazing features we saw made it into the product. Oh, ah, we got him! The power to make an opponent's gun levitate and shoot its owner? Elizabeth and Booker coordinating to create a lightning storm? Don't get us wrong, we were pretty happy with the end result, but we would have liked to see some of the stuff that's in the trailer in the game, you know? I just need a moment. <gasps> Number 7. Destiny Silently protecting us. The last city on Earth. Remember the hype surrounding this title? How it was going to be the next big franchise that could stand shoulder to shoulder with Bungie's other video game triumphs? How the trailer made it seem like players would be thrown into an epic sci-fi FPS RPG with a thrilling narrative that saw them as the last defenders of humanity! As guardians, we will stand together, seize our destiny. Well, cue the obvious disappointment, as we discovered that the game itself seemed to provide the bare bones of the actual trailer, with the rest slowly being handed to us in chunks via DLC. Dissecting what could have been a genre juggernaut as a way to earn some extra cash? That's a pretty crappy destiny to hand your fans, Bungie. I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. Number 6. Halo 5. Guardians. And I've never seen a more determined soldier than the Master Chief. In the months leading up to Halo 5's release, Microsoft ran a very extravagant marketing campaign with trailers and an extensive audio play called Hunt the Truth, painting the iconic Master Chief as turning traitorous not only to the UNSC, but to humanity in general. So years later, when the Spartans landed their bloody anti-insurrectionist campaign in the outer colonies, many of those Spartans were simply the harvested children of those communities. With so much buildup surrounding Master Chief's allegiance, as well as the eventual battle with Spartan Locke, we were promised a true clash of the titans. And what did we get? A single non-interactive cutscene of Master Chief and Locke trading punches, with none of the Chief's mentioned atrocities actually making it into the final game. There are ambitious promises, and then there's downright dishonesty. Come on. Number 5. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty after the monumental entry that was the original Metal Gear Solid, fans were eagerly awaiting to see what Solid Snake's next mission would look like on the PS2. And we did. For a little bit. As it turned out, the trailer had only shown parts of Snake's mission, failing to mention that we would spend the rest of the game as Raiden. So, who was this pretty boy? What the hell happened to Snake? Granted, Raiden has now become an accepted part of the canon, and Sons of Liberty is recognized as a very good sequel. However, you can only imagine the initial sense of betrayal that fans felt when they discovered the Switch. 
Number four, aliens, colonial marines. Lasko, that's inches of reinforced steel. <laughs> Why the hell you think I'm making you check it out? Talk about stepping on a much beloved franchise. Fans had been dying for a chance to team up with their friends and take on a xenomorph horde in an epic FPS that would blend together the action and horror of the original James Cameron hit. Instead, they were greeted by a visually downgraded blunder of a game that had virtually no atmosphere, barely any of the scripted events shown in the trailer, and broken AI that made the Xenos kind of a joke instead of a threat. Topping it all off, you spend most of the game getting into gunfights with other humans. Other humans! The game is called Aliens! Number 3, Killzone 2. At E3 2005, Sony attempted to demonstrate the power of the upcoming PlayStation 3 by showing off gameplay for the upcoming Killzone 2. There was just one problem with this showcase. It wasn't running on the PlayStation 3. It was actually a pre-rendered trailer trying to mimic what the PS3 could potentially do. This wouldn't have made the list if it weren't for the fact that Sony was kind of dishonest about the reveal. Sure, it looked pretty, and by the time Killzone 2 was released for said console, players did enjoy it. But come on, Sony, don't do that again. Number 2, No Man's Sky. And the hype machine disappoints yet again, but who knew it would fail on such a colossal level? For months, fans had been foaming at the mouth at the prospect of a sci-fi game of this scale, with billions of planets to explore, promising a unique experience for every single gamer. Heck, even we got roped into it. However, over time, the cracks started to appear, and it became clear that so much of what was promised in the trailers was straight up missing, including the promise of joining factions and engaging in massive cosmic battles. However, most insultingly of all was what we found at the center of the galaxy. Absolutely nothing! Kind of a metaphor for the experience, eh? Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Hi, I'm Justin Marco. Welcome to Dot Connection. My digital gallery made of underground park music. Number 1, Dead Island. <laughs> Cinematic, haunting, breathtaking. After watching the trailer that showed the massacre of innocent tourists by an undead horde via slow motion and in reverse, players expected to be given a game that would shake them to their very core. A truly terrifying experience that would blend survival horror with a deeply emotional narrative. <laughs> got none of that. What we did get was a pretty weak story with bland stereotypes in place of characters, technical issues, zero sense of tension, and zombies that weren't really scary. Heck, it was kind of fun, but we were promised greatness, and we feel that this was a very, very misleading trailer. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.